What's up you guys? Welcome back to Mad Medicine. My name is Farhan. I am a medical student and in this video we're going to be discussing getting clinical experience during COVID-19. Is it possible even to get clinical experience during this pandemic? And if it is possible, how do you go about getting that clinical experience? Now before we do that, however, don't forget to smash the like button to help the YouTube algorithm. And while you're there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you guys like this type of content. Your support really means a lot to us. So with that being said, let's talk about getting clinical experience during COVID-19. Now a lot of y'all hit me up on Instagram and on TikTok asking me to make a video or to make content about this question that many pre-med students have right a lot of pre-med students right now are wondering where they're gonna go what they're gonna do to get clinical experience we all know getting clinical experience is very very important especially when it comes to medical school nursing school pharmacy school whatever medical professional school you guys want to go to clinical experience is very vital it's very important to the application process and for schools evaluating students it's very important for them to know what you have done and if you're a good candidate. We all know that. So with the pandemic, with everything going on, a lot of students have been displaced from the clinical setting, which makes sense, right? These clinical settings don't want students getting exposed to COVID-19 and increasing the risk of spreading COVID-19. But nonetheless, a lot of students have been pulled out of the clinical setting and they're not able to get the clinical experience they want, that they deserve, and that they need to get into these medical schools or to get into these medical professional schools. And a lot of students have a lot of anxiety over that. There's a lot of stress and, and you know, there's a lot of worry that's going around. So I want to talk a little bit about that today. Before we dive right into it, I want you guys to know, number one, if you're a pre-med student who wants to go to nursing school, medical school, pharmacy school, PA school, whatever it may be, I want you guys to know you guys are not alone in this at all. You see, I'm a medical student and I got pulled out of the clinical setting. All the medical students around the country actually ended up getting pulled out because hospitals and schools were were afraid of the safety of the students so to be safe they pulled us out of the clinical setting so you guys are not alone we're in this with you we're also not getting the proper clinical experience that we were essentially promised and we deserve but that's just what it is that's the nature of this pandemic there's nothing anyone can do about that as of now but with that being said with that preface in and letting you guys know you guys are not alone let's talk about if you can get clinical experience during COVID-19 during this whole pandemic the simple answer to that question can you get clinical experience during COVID-19 is yes you can definitely get clinical experience during this pandemic during what's going on around the world but you gotta understand the clinical experience you're gonna get during this time is not gonna be the same as the clinical experience you would get uh, uh, say five, four, six months ago, whatever, right? A little while back before the pandemic. This clinical experience is going to be different just because of the nature of the world that we are living in and the situation that we are all in. So can you get clinical experience? Yes. Is it going to be the same? No. And is it going to be very different? Potentially. Okay. So let's talk about how you can actually get clinical experience during this time and what you can do to make yourself look like a good applicant when it comes to clinical experience. So like I was saying, you're not going to get the same clinical experience as you got before, but because you're not going to get the same clinical experience and coupled with the fact that we're living through a real life pandemic right now, you got to start thinking outside of the box when it comes to clinical experience. These ideas that, you know, I've been thinking about for a while, you know, to make this video, realistically, they're not going to be things you would have normally considered to be clinical experience. And I'm going to explain why they still count as clinical experience, but at the same time, you guys are going gonna have to think a little bit differently and be a little creative in order to get this type of clinical experience. So the first type of clinical experience that's out there that you can still get as of right now is not gonna apply to everyone. It's gonna apply to very specific people and the reason why it's going to apply to very specific people is because you need certain type of certifications to be able to do these clinical experiences. So these are going to be things like being a CNA, being an MA or, you know, a medical assistant, being a scribe or being a phlebotomist or even being an EMT. If you have these type of certifications where you can actually work for pay in the hospital setting, in the medical setting, I would say continue doing that as much as you can because not only are you contributing to the medical setting, to medical professionals right then and there during this pandemic, you also are getting clinical experience and you're certified, you're trained to be in that clinical setting where you are working. 
that is amazing clinical experience always amazing clinical experience and you actually have the ability to get that clinical experience during this COVID-19 yes your hours might be cut for your safety and for everyone's safety but you can still continue getting clinical experience that way now I understand not everyone has certifications I, for one, as a pre-med, never had certifications. I relied on volunteer experiences to get my clinical experience. So I understand that does not apply to everyone. So what about everyone else? What can you do? Well, one of the things you can do is actually contacting your local hospital or local area, clinical setting, whatever it may be, if it's a small clinic, et cetera, you want to call them and ask them, what can you do as a volunteer to help out the staff, to help out the nurses, to help out the doctors during this time? That still counts as clinical experience because you're actually helping out taking care of patients by taking care of those small things that nurses and doctors have to do that honestly you can do right you're helping out the healthcare team and in doing so you are getting clinical experience one of the ways they might ask you to do something is they might ask you hey can you create some masks so that our average workers can be protected or they might even ask you hey can you still raise awareness in the local area that this pandemic is still going on and that we have to be careful whatever it may be one thing you can do is just email them and call them and ask them what can we do directly and they will guide you another thing you can do number three another thing you can do is get gather PPE and resources that hospitals and doctors and nurses desperately need, right? You guys already know at this point that across the country, doctors and nurses are still fighting this pandemic without proper and adequate uh, protection, right? personal protective equipment they don't have that sometimes masks sometimes gowns or face shields and they desperately need those supplies and there are labs at your school in your area that have this type of supply because labs also need ppe so if you can gather this equipment and be able to donate it to the hospital you'll make a huge impact and technically that will still count as clinical experience that is number three Number four is going to be something that a lot of people often overlook just because they don't realize what's happening in the world right now. And realistically, it's kind of sad, but with this pandemic, a lot of jobs are being lost for good. A lot of people are losing their health insurance, and when they lose their health insurance, they're not going to be able to go to the doctor. They're not going to be able to go to a hospital to get the care they need, and they're going to turn to free local clinics who take care of every patient no matter what. These clinics can be run by a physician completely and have no student volunteers, but they could also be student-run like several clinics in my area. We have several medical medical student and undergrad student run medical clinic with doctor supervision and in those clinics you take care of anyone who does not have the ability to pay for health insurance as much as the clinic can and uh, as much as the care that the clinic can provide volunteering in those places is going to become even more vital now more so than ever because you're going to end up seeing more patients coming in with people losing their health insurance they're going to turn to the only means they have to get clinical to get uh, a hospital like experience to get a doctor to see them and they might be going to the local free clinic so if you have a local free clinic around you you probably do i would highly recommend you contacting them and asking them hey how can i help you guys out do you need me to raise some resources do you need me to help out with anything, you know, et cetera, et cetera, but contact them. I think that is very powerful. It's an amazing, amazing experience. I did that as an undergrad. I had the opportunity to work at a free student run health clinic, and it was one of the best experiences I could have ever had as a pre-med student who wanted to go into medical school. So I highly, personally, I highly recommend that experience over everything else. I am a little biased, I know, but uh, I think it's a very good clinical experience. And if you're interested, it will be a uh, um, an amazing experience for you hands down that's number four and then the fifth experience that I have is really contacting your local area your local uh, community center or a mosque or a church and asking them if there are people in their community who need help getting resources getting supplies getting food etc etc these people might not be able to go into the public setting because of everything that's going on they might be elderly and not have the ability to go not have the facilities to go they might be immunocompromised so it's too dangerous 
dangerous for them to go out into the public and get the things they need or they might not have access to transportation right now that will take them to uh, the you know um, the grocery store to get some things that they need right and these people are actually suffering because they're sitting at home without the proper necessities that they need to live so if you team up with a local community center if you team up with a local organization and ask them hey are there people who need this service and I guarantee you there will be people and tell them that I will do the work for them I'll drop off the goods you know they can pay for it themselves but I will drop off the goods I will provide this resource you are still getting clinical experience now I understand a lot of y'all gonna be like how are you getting clinical experience you're not really taking care of people but if in its essence you are taking care of people right clinical experience doesn't mean you're actually working in the hospital setting you can be getting clinical experience by just providing a service that's helping people mentally and physically and this is absolutely uh, that by helping people get their resources you are helping them live and essentially you're getting a type of clinical experience now these are just five small ways that you can still get clinical experience I understand that with everything going on it isn't possible for some people to you know uh, do any of that it, it completely makes sense because some people just might not have this uh, these experiences available to them and it definitely does suck right no two ways around it this pandemic has derailed the whole educational experience for medical pre-med students and medical students and students just across the world across the country uh, it has derailed all of that right so now we need to think a little bit outside of the box and that's why I was thinking you know these are some ways you can continue to get clinical experience so you don't feel like you are stagnant in your career in you know your path to becoming a physician a nurse a a PA, whatever you might want to do, right? You can still move forward. And at the same time, I want you guys to know that, yeah, right now we're stuck in the situation that we are all dealing with the, the pandemic, but eventually we're going to beat the pandemic. We are going to get a vaccine. And once that, you know, starts, once that happens, we're going to be able to go back into the hospital setting. You guys are going to be able to come in as well and be able to get that traditional clinical experience you guys are yearning for and you guys desperately want that will happen you just have to be a little patient it might just change you know timeline might change and we don't know when but it will happen and then finally the last thing i want to say if you guys are stressed out about applying about getting into any medical professional school with you know a lack of clinical experience well you got to realize around the world we're all dealing with the same thing we're all going through this pandemic together you guys are not alone and medical schools and medical professional schools also realize that it would be insane it would be absolutely insane and ridiculous if medical professional schools were were evaluating the next you know set of students based off of the you know previous students who were applying with uh, experience pre-pandemic. It makes no sense. They have to uh, evaluate you with the current situation, and that's what they're gonna do. So if you're worried, if you're stressed out about getting good clinical experience and how it'll it's gonna you know affect you without getting good clinical experience right now. I would relax. I would understand that everyone is going through this. You're not alone. Medical schools and medical professional schools are also realizing this and they're going to look at you in respect to everything that's going on. Okay. So it's going to be okay. And with that being said, I hope this was helpful. I hope this was informative and I hope this eased some of the anxiety and stress that a lot of students have right now. If it did, let me know below. If you guys want to ask me a question, leave a comment and you can even message me on TikTok and on Instagram. I respond quite regularly. And um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. We'll be back with more real soon. Deuces.